Glamorous Island. Buongiorno, Ischia. How did buongiorno. I say? Buongiorno. Buongiorno. That's no. what I said. No, you said buongiorno. <laughs> no. No, you say with the shit instead of the chick. Buongiorno. No, no, no. You, yeah, that's what you do wrong. You say buongiorno. No, it's buongiorno. 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 Am I saying it right now? No. Bonjour, no? No, okay, so you're saying bonjour now? Yeah. Where it is bonjour now? Bonjour, no? Bonjour, no? Bonjour, no? Bonjour, no? That's what I said. Bonjour, no? Bonjour, no? Yeah, that's good. And then bonjour. Bonjour, no? No, and then you put in an S. Bonjour, no? There you go. Bonjour, no? Esquia. We have arrived in style. Look at this beautiful island that I've always wanted to go to. This is a very long time. Now I'm here with my boyfriend, Jeroen. We have to find our accommodation pickup because we're being picked up at the ferry port all the way to our cute resort. There comes a time in every trip when the wonder of your surroundings finally sink in. A moment when you pause and think, this is exactly why I came here. Walking by a storied landmark of a magic island, but for most, is experiencing an incomprehensible panorama surrounded by uninterrupted views of natural beauty at nearly every turn. Welcome to San Montano Resort and Spa. This lobby and open lounge area is gorgeous. I love the fine details between the color palette to the furnishings that they've picked out, and of course, the view. We are at San Montano, thank you to SLH, which is Small Luxury Hotels for another wonderful collaboration. And I'm just going to show you our room. This way to the bedroom. These Italian tile patterns make me want to pinch myself. Nothing more Mediterranean than the billowy whites and cream of the suite. Actually, our suite is really spacious and feels just so private. Of course, the bed test. Absolutely love that this hotel, our room, the sunrise room, is a little bit away from the main building as well. So you, you have to walk out a little bit, but you walk across this beautiful courtyard. And the best part, aside from the wonderful privacy, is if we walk here, out into the living room. This is our own terrace. Look at this magnificent view of Ischia from our terrace. What? This is just such a great slice of paradise. Coming in at 845 euros or $1,240 Canadian per night, this suite is the perfect well-being getaway for us to unwind. 
It's all about location, location, location. In a secluded part of a rugged outcrop overlooking the Neapolitan coast, this serene hideaway has stunning Ischia and Naples views. Look how badass these bathrobes are. I feel like we are about to go in a boxing match. Very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Very eight mile, right? Eminem. Okay, now we are going to head off to the pools. That sounds more nice. Yes. There's like seven pools, right? Yeah. And the thermal spring pools because Ischia is, of course, created by volcano. And from the volcanoes, we get these thermal springs. And also, San Montano is a spa and a resort. Uh, cannot get over this. Just completely in love with it all. I'm gonna head down there. That's where all the pools are. These are the rooms from the other part of the hotel. As you can see, they're beautiful because it overlooks the sea as well. But you don't get quite the open private terrace that we have. The island volcanic waters don't just circle the hotel. They inspire many of the exclusive treatments at its wellness center. The only sea view spot in Ischia, yep, right here. Its therapies makes use of the hot springs with a natural grotto sauna and cleansing mud treatments. Now this is the life. I'm all about this life. And you're doing as well, as you can see. Casually serving pineapple slices by the pool. Mm. So juicy. Mm. First, you have the mountain volcano right there, and then the sea here. But look at these beautiful pools. And Yeroon is already checking out the smaller thermal pools just below. Down this way. Oh wow, I'm like in a paradise. There's tons of places to just wander around to have some more peace and quiet if you even want that which already is already so serene here Look, and I turn around How many yachts can you count? This is the place Down here are all of lemon groves. A little lemon farm going on. I absolutely love how southern Italy this is. This place has to have more than just seven pools because I just stumbled upon another secluded thermal pool just right here and get this view as well so all the views is to Ischia and then Napoli in the distance and Procida where we were before wow how does it feel? Right.
How cute! It's my boyfriend. He's <laughs> being absorbed by the bubbles. No, please, please, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, it is a lot. Oh, it is salty. Yeah? It is very salty. Yeah, right? Not the chloride. Uh. <laughs> We have to do that it's hard to stay in one spot there. What? That it's hard to stay in one yeah. spot. Because uh. I, I feel like I'm floating naturally. Yeah. <laughs> Funny that in university, I actually skipped so many of my classes to go traveling on my own. Whenever I found a cheap flight, booking it was like an addiction. Disclaimer, it was much easier to reschedule exams when I had built such good relationships with my professors. But I always wanted someone to go with. My friends were definitely more rigorous with their schedules, so they couldn't just take off whenever they wanted. Our trips were limited to, well, the holidays. In all those years of being a solo traveler, never did I think I would have found someone else that could match my curiosity to share a thirst for the world. Someone who I can just run with. Then came Yeroon and I found myself in love. And that love multiplied by sharing our loves of things like travel. But that love has since grew into something much more. For in him, I also found a home. One that is with me no matter where in the world.